What's going on everyone? This is John, the Wolf of Ecom. And in this video, I'm going to share the truth about agency ad accounts with you. And this is an updated video from when I first put out a video around Facebook agency ad accounts back in August or September, 2021. My opinion has completely changed and you're gonna to wanna to listen in whether you've been using these accounts for some time or you're thinking or are interested in getting access to some as well. So first and foremost, let's start with what the heck an agency ad account is. I want you to imagine a high spend marketing agency that's spending, let's say, five million, 10 million, $100 million across all of the ad accounts on their business manager, all their client ad accounts, right? So a high spend business manager, okay? They are operating off of a credit line with Facebook. So no, they're not plugging in their Amex to get their points. They are actually operating on a net 30 payment plan with Facebook. So they pay a bill to Facebook once a month, for example, and that credit line resets every single month, right? The the thing is you gotta realize with an a, a account with that level of access with Facebook, they have a actual dedicated rep, not the one that emails you as their marketing expert that is actually not gonna help you at all, don't waste your time speaking with them. So they have a dedicated human at Facebook that can reactivate things, that can work with them, that can communicate with them and be transparent with them, unlike us, the peasants, peasants. on Facebook. And also they're operating off that credit line. So Facebook is incentivized to actually take care of them because hey, they may just not pay their bill if Facebook screws them and shuts their business manager down. You never know, right? So just to give you a preview of what an agency ad account is like, let's talk about the pros, the cons, how you can get them and why you may or may not want to actually get access to one yourself. So if we look at my uh, ad account here, this is one of the agency ad accounts I'm using. I have several. Uh, I've spent 20K in the last 30 days with this, not a crazy amount of money. Uh, but what I, what I wanna show you is first and foremost, if I were to launch a new campaign right now, doesn't matter the, the campaign type. First and foremost, one of the major benefits is that there's no spend limit, right? So if I put in $100,000, there's no, you're capped at 50 a day or 250 a day or 750 a day. So there's basically no spend limit. If there's money in the account, I can spend it, right? And Facebook will spend my money. Trust me, we all know this. The other thing is too, if I pop into the billing section, you're gonna see it looks a little bit different than a standard ad account, okay? And what I mean by that is that we are gonna be running off of a credit line, okay? So this is one of the pros, cons of, of this discussion, right? Well, I got a 14 cent ad credit from Facebook, heck yeah. So as you can see here, I've spent a total of $32,000 in this specific ad account since we opened it just about a month and a half ago. And I have a remaining credit balance of $6,630.81. So what does that mean? That basically means I need to wire transfer money to the agency again once this gets pretty low, right? Because what's gonna happen after I spend $6,630.81 is everything is just gonna stop running, right? So I cannot put a credit card in and get my points. It is what it is. Uh, but the point is that the trade-off that I'm making for having to make these prepayments and having to top up the credit line in advance is that uh, I don't, I have no spend limits and my account is way less likely to be shut down. So that kind of already touches on a lot of the pros and cons, but let's go over them anyway. So first and foremost, uh, the pros of using agency accounts are gonna be what I mentioned, no daily spend limits, which is huge if you're ready and you know how to scale. And then also the accounts can be recovered, which is super cool. So if you try to appeal one of your regular ad accounts on your business manager, there is a chance you can recover it if you have not broken policy and if you know some hacks and tricks and workarounds, it is possible, but it's not even guaranteed, right? Knowing all I know, and I've gone very deep down the rabbit hole with Facebook bans, restrictions, shutdowns, and systems, I don't actually recover my regular ad accounts or profiles or business managers 100% of the time. It's just not a reality, right? I have a guy inside of Facebook that can do it. It's very expensive, not usually worth it. Uh, but the point I'm trying to make here is that 
these accounts, the agency ad accounts can be recovered, right? And typically if the agency can't recover it, they'll actually replace that account for you and move your credit balance over to that new account, depending on the agency you're working with. That we'll talk more about that in the cons because I've heard some horror stories. I know some people have been screwed over. The next thing is the spending limits, right? So you can scale hard, like I mentioned. And then also I find you can bend policy. You can't break policy, right? So you can't be selling things that clearly go against Facebook's ad policy. You have to still be within policy, but you can bend things. You can sell skincare products as long as your ads aren't making major claims. You could sell, you know, shapewear, for example, bras, things that tend to sell really well on Facebook but you can't be you know, really pushing the limits too hard because you'll still see the ad accounts get disabled. It's still gonna happen. You'll probably recover it, but you just don't wanna deal with it. It's just not good for you or business in general, okay? So let's talk about the cons, right? The first con is that you have to do a prepayment and it typically needs to be done via either wire transfer or some agencies will take crypto as a form of payment. I don't know right now, here it is late January, crypto markets crashed. So I, I mean, actually they may be taking, uh, you know, this may be the best time for them, right? Because it's, it's gonna hopefully go up. But uh, prepayment is required, right? So I have access to some agencies that are now offering credit card top-ups, which is huge, okay? Uh, the, the one thing is you have to realize is that you'll, you'll typically need to cover the credit card processing fees, which can be two and a half to 3%. Usually they're running off of uh, Stripe, for example, which your, your rate is gonna be somewhere in there. So let's say you wanna send the agency $10,000 or even $1,000, you're gonna have to send $1,025, if I'm doing the math right on that. Um, I, I might be completely wrong. But you're, you're gonna have to cover that fee. It's so either you send the amount you want plus the fee as an extra, or they just discount it down from what they actually add to your account once you send them 1,000 or 5,000 or $10,000. So that is, that is a downside, okay? And also there are fees associated with this. Typically there's going to be a, either a percentage fee for every dollar you spend in the account. That can be anywhere from three to I've seen 10 to 15% with some people Hot, it's highway robbery, okay? So um, be careful of who you work with. And then there's others that offer like a flat rate subscription base, which I think is very reasonable, totally fair. I'm a big fan of that. Uh, and I actually know a few that offer 0% fees, right? So the reason why agencies themselves can offer 0% fee should they choose to is because they're actually receiving a discount from Facebook. So for every dollar they spend on Facebook, they're getting a they're actually, Facebook's charging them 90, 95 cents, right? So they're getting a five to 10% discount. That's why the, there's, it's so lucrative for agencies, large agencies that have these credit lines that get that discount volume, volume discount with Facebook is because they're paying less per dollar than what you and I are paying. We're paying a dollar if we spend a dollar with Facebook and regular ad account. With the agency ad accounts, the business managers operating off these credit lines, simply they're getting some kind of discount that's negotiated with Facebook. So you just spending on their accounts, the agency is actually making a five to 10% profit margin, which is amazing. And then they're charging a premium on top, which is totally fair because you get access to their accounts, which are really strong and are your best bet right now, most of the time with Facebook. Okay, so those are your downsides, right? Is that prepayment is required and there's fees associated with it, whether you do it with a credit card or you go with just your standard fees with doing your top ups with wire transfer, there's usually fees involved. But the trade off is that you actually stay in business because the most expensive thing is having to get shut down, having to rebuild, having to relaunch, getting shut down, having to rebuild, having to relaunch, right? So you can be frustrated with the fact that you have to follow these guidelines with agency ad accounts and having to make prepayments, all this stuff. But it all makes sense. It's all fair in my opinion. Um, and that's my opinion on it, right? Keep in mind, these accounts are not invincible, like I mentioned. So that is a con. You cannot just run whatever you want, a group, super aggressive health offers. They may or may not work. It really depends on the agency. So just be aware of that. This is not gonna be your silver bullet to advertise whatever the heck you want without a penalty, okay? So you still can and probably will run into issues if you're breaking policy. 
the last thing I wanna say is, why have I changed my opinion on this? Is I was very anti-agency ad account, if you look back at some of my older YouTube videos, just to be fully transparent with you here. The truth is that regular ad accounts, even if you warm everything up properly, when you're trying to scale, you can still run into issues. So I still use regular ad accounts, regular verified business managers. The difference is that I split my ad spend across agency ad accounts for my stores, for my, my consulting business, for my lead gen, and I run a regular ad account. So the reason why is because I, if something does happen to one of my regular ad accounts, I don't wanna be shut down for a couple of days or weeks as I rebuild and restructure. Because I know how to do that, that's fine, but it still takes time, it still takes energy, it still takes money, it still takes focus. I'd rather have everything still running in some capacity on my agency ad accounts, right? So how do agency ad accounts work? Let's say you join one of my programs, for example, and I, I introduce you to my contacts for agency ad accounts. Typically the way it's gonna work is you're going to need to provide them with a solid business manager, not one that has a bunch of disabled ad accounts and bad history. You'll give them the business manager ID and then they're going to assign the ad account to your business manager, it will appear there. And just so you're aware, you'll need to typically either prepay that wire transfer or credit card top up, however you do it. And then once top up has cleared, then the ad account will be assigned, okay? And then uh, something else really important that I need to mention is you're going to absolutely see any new agency ad accounts from what I've found from my own new ad accounts this month in January 2022, from my clients that I've referred out, almost every single agency ad account gets disabled on the first launch, be it a like campaign, a reach campaign, a conversion campaign, it doesn't matter. I'm seeing every single ad account is getting instantly disabled on the click of a publishing of the button, right? So that is normal. Do not be worried. Let's say we decide to work together or you, you go through another contact to get access to agency ad accounts. When you do launch uh, your first ad, it is very normal right now in this moment when I'm filming this video, January, 2022, to have your ad account instantly disabled. Do not freak out, do not be like, oh, the world is ending, this doesn't work. That's not the reality. The reality is that it's just Facebook system, it's just how Facebook is today. Hopefully by the time you're watching this video in a week or two, that this has completely changed in February, they've turned a new leaf. I wouldn't bet on it. But uh, all you need to do is have the agency recover it and then you pretty much should be good to go as long as you're not, you're not doing anything stupid. Something else I do want to mention as well, um, be wary, be careful of who you work with. I've, I just helped a guy, for example, that was paying almost 10% in fees, so a dollar ten to spend a dollar on Facebook, right? Kind of crazy. I've paid fees like that before, it's terrible. And the other thing is too, um, I've, I've heard of agencies actually stealing your money. Right, so this is not a common thing, but it has happened. It's not so much the agency, it's more so the person that is uh, selling the agency ad account. So there's a lot of hustlers in this space, as you and I both know, and it's not uncommon for uh, people to scam people, right? It happens in every industry, but especially in the e-com affiliate marketing space, I've heard horror stories. So just be careful, like work through people you trust for good contacts, because I have heard of people wire transferring 3K, 5K, 10K, and then the, the person that's setting them up completely disappearing. So just so you're aware, it has happened, it could happen, I'm not saying it will, I'm not saying uh, whoever you are in contact with about agency ad accounts is going to steal your money. Just be smart with who, as always, right? Um, just wanna mention that. One other downside too, uh, full transparency here, a lot of agencies are gonna require some type of minimum top up, whether it's like 2K or 3K or 5K or 10K USD. It, there is going to be some variance in there. They're typically gonna to wanna to see you using the count. So, uh, you know, in the past, it was crazy. You, there would be like a 10K startup fee, just as a fee, 10%, and they want you to spend 50, 70, 100,000 USD in a 30 day cycle every month or you lose the account. That's not the case anymore. The market has shifted. There's a lot more providers in this space. Um, and also the counts can vary, right? So the quality of the counts can vary. I have seen a variance in CPMs 
and then ultimately what you're paying for your traffic, your cost per click, your, your cost per conversion, whatever it is you're optimizing for. So just be aware of that. The quality of the accounts can vary. That probably comes down to the business manager and overall the health of their business manager and what they're running or not running or allowing to be run. So just be aware of that. You, It is a bit of a mixed bag. This is why uh, when it comes to where do you get access to these. So if you haven't already, check out my free guide, The Truth About Agency Ad Accounts. I'll include a link in the description to this video. But generally speaking, obviously, yes, I, I'm not pitching you on agency ad accounts from me, but I can help you get set up. If, you, if we decide to work together in some capacity, it's, a, it's something I do for all my clients. But uh, regardless of where you go for agency ad accounts, which I suggest everyone does in 2022, uh, just work through something you trust. That's the most important thing, all right? Because I do not want you to watch this video, go with some guy that's promising like no fees or something like that, and then they just steal all your money and then you're mad at me. So just be careful, be smart, be intelligent, who you work through people who you trust. This is why networking is so important. Okay, so with that being said, check out my free guide, Truth About Agency Ad Accounts underneath this video. And until next time, I hope by the time you see my next YouTube video that Facebook has chilled out a lot and you are set up with your own agency ad accounts.